I'm Justin and this is the Roland Pro AV V600 UHD. In this video, we're going to be talking about updating the firmware, also known as the system program. Before we begin, I recommend backing up your settings to a USB memory. Put the USB memory into the slot on the top of the panel, press the menu button, enter the system menu, go to USB memory, save as. You can change the file name if you want, and then select save, and it'll save your settings. Then exit the menu, take out the USB memory, and transfer the file to your computer. Once you've transferred the settings file to your computer, put the USB memory back into the V600 UHD, and then press the menu button, enter the system menu, and on page three, choose format. This will erase the USB and prepare it for the system program firmware file. Connect the USB stick to your computer and then go to the Roland Pro AV website. Navigate to the V600 UHD page and click on downloads. Here you can see updates and drivers and the first link is the V600 UHD system program. Click the link and here you'll see information on changes to previous firmware versions, as well as how to perform the update. Download the file. And once it's downloaded, copy the files from the download to your USB media. Safely remove it from your computer and then put it back into the V600 UHD. Finally, power down the V600 UHD. And then when you turn it back on, you need to hold three buttons down at the same time. Aux slash composition, DSK, and mix. Press and hold all three buttons and then turn the power back on. Keep holding the buttons while it goes through the boot process to get into update mode. On the multi-viewer, you'll see a prompt to press the enter button to execute. Push enter on the value knob to begin the update. The update process should only take a few minutes. Make sure to not turn off the V600 UHD while it is updating, or it may no longer function. When the update is finished, you'll get a prompt on the multi-view output to restart the V600 UHD. Wait a few seconds and then power it back on. Once the V600 UHD is rebooted, press the menu button, go into the system menu, and go to the last page to verify the version number matches the firmware that you updated. Thank you for watching this video on the Roland V600 UHD. For more information and additional support, please visit the Roland Pro AV website and be sure to check out the product knowledge base. <laughs>